In an earlier video, we talked about different ways to increase the steam economy. And one way we said was that we could reuse the, the vapor produced by steam compression. And let's look at that. Uh, there are two basic options, mechanical steam compression and thermal compression. In mechanical compression, what you do is that you, you have the feed coming in here and the vapor is produced and you take that vapor, vapor and put it into a compressor, uh, increasing the quality of the steam, the, the pressure of the steam. And then you can use that uh, to, to evaporate your feed. Uh, and this is not a permit per mobile because you have to add energy in this compressor. Uh, the other way is to have thermal compression, uh, slightly similar uh, setup here. Uh, you still have the feed coming in and a vapor being produced. And then you have a split here. Some vapor goes to condenser to make sure that the pressure on the feed side is low. And then you have some fresh steam coming in into a, what is called an ejector pump. There are no, no moving parts here. It's just a, a clever a contraption where you have the inlet gas. So this is the same thing as down here, but tilted. Uh, so you have the fresh steam coming in and you have an opening here where this flow can be sucked in. And when the flow comes here of fresh steam, it drags with it uh, molecules from, from this feed here and you get a mixture of steam here. Uh, and uh, so you, you reduce the amount of fresh steam you need to use. We won't do any calculations on this in this course, but you should know that uh, thermal compression and mechanical steam compression exist.